Hi guys, welcome back to AQA Certificate for the Mathematics GCSE. Today we're on Chapter 6.6, 3D Trigonometry. This is a great A video, and I hope you enjoy it. So, let's start. So, if you ask me what is a 3D thing, then I will tell you everything is 3D. Um, unless you're talking about a piece of paper, well, it is 3D, strictly speaking. Everything is a, an atom thick, so there will be a volume. And so, we are in a 3D world, and so finding a 3D distance is essential for human survival. Well, maybe not nowadays, because we are living in a place where technology takes over our lives, but, um, just, it's a bit complicated, let's say. So, how do you consider, like, what to look at at a, th a 3D object? Like, we know Pythagoras' theorem, we know, um, sine root, cosine root, those kind of things. Well, maybe I haven't talked about this yet, but doesn't matter. This rule only applies onto the objects how do we do that on 3D? Well, you have to keep onto one single plane. And I'll talk about how to do that um, right now. So, I have a given cuboid that is regular, and I want to find where the red point, uh, uh, the line that crossed the red point to the green point and I want to find that particular distance. So how shall we find it? Well, we can't uh, we can't um, do anything about this right now because we have so little information about this 3D object. All we know is the volume and well basically all the sides length. We don't have anything other than that. So we need to um, change this into something more helpful and so I have an object that I've cut it in half but still contains those three points. Now we're in a bit of a better shape. So how do I do this particular question? So, um, from red to green, uh, red to green, we still have no idea, but we do know red to blue because we have this triangle covered, and that would, um, if you label it correctly, then you can pretty much, um, get that this angle, uh, this rectangle will allow you to find, uh, this line through red and blue because it is a right angle triangle namely Pythagoras theorem and you can find that red to blue <coughs> is 5 so we know that uh, this, li uh, this line is 5 units so that is all we need for this rectangle so we can scratch that off then now we have a thing, um, a rectangle, and that rectangle specifically is, um, let's see, the rectangle has a red dot. Nope, not like that. Hmm, there we go. So I want a red dot right here. Then we label this corner blue and the other co uh, corner as green. So we basically are just looking at this particular face that contains all three points. I want to find red to green. How about I? Um, what we need to do is cut it into a triangle, and which I have. And the gr blue to green side is given as 12 right here so we can pretty much change it into 
triangle just cut off that chunk of useless material and now we can label the sides red to blue is 5 black lace nope I can't use a computer oh joy there we go and blue to green is 12 so we have these two now we need to do Pythagoras theorem and if you're quick about it it's 13 so we have found the answer to this cuboid question and that looks a bit uh, strictly speaking a bit complicated um, and you might if you are um, smart about this you might ask me well what if he did uh, the example don't give you a right angle like a cuboid it gives you like a cone kind of peak then how should you tackle it well I bet that it's not going to happen because it's way too mean it is ridiculous for an exam board to give such question to GCSE level because it's just not it's not fair it's ridiculous so I'll just stick with 90 degree remember look at those 90 degrees they are important so now um one good tip about this is just to keep calm, look at the diagram and identify which single plane you want to look at and try to get that from another diagram. In other words, you have to draw a lot of diagram to find out the final diagram that you want, which is kind of confusing if you don't label them and so I did give color code to each point so that you don't um, confuse them and it's way easier to figure out which point is which if you're artistic use color if you're lo logical use the mm, focus uh, no the vertices name uh, namely its label so in a question it will give you a b c as a triangle or something like that so that would be helpful so this is my next question that i wanted to give you and basically uh, it is a triangle um, similar to a pyramid but not really um, a is above o and <clears throat> A to O is basically 90 degree to um, horizontal. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, so A to O is perpendicular to O, B, and C. So those three are basically uh, 90 degree to each other. So they are on the X, Y, Z um, coordinates. So it's a bit tricky about this one. So you have to be clear which face you want to talk about. And remember, focus the maximum uh, angle of two planes when talking about the angle between them. So yeah, you have five seconds to think about this. And I will um, give you the answer. So now we have uh, the answer part. So basically what you need to do is you have to identify that the base triangle is um, 5 and 5. And so this is an isosceles triangle. You want a right angle triangle. And although this is a right angle triangle, you want this particular side of right angle because you want to find the um, perpendicular um, intersection point which is from A to this midpoint then back to O uh, so now you have to cut through that and to get this distance you have to use this triangle and we have OC as 5 we have BC as 8 but how do we find the midpoint to C? Well 
what you need to do is to identify a rule for angles um, for isosceles triangles which is um, if you draw a perpendicular line no a perpendicular line from the top of the triangle down to the base then it's going to make 90 degree and di uh, bisect the bottom like the base so BC will be bisected so this line is equal to this line which is equal to 8 divided by 2 is 4 so we have 4 we have 5 we can Pythagoras triangle and get this as 3 so now we have it and what we can do now is to make it a bit clearer make a triangle I know I have terrible drawings and lines on straight um, this is 3 this is A to O A to O is 7 so 7 3 what you do now is we want to find that this plane um, the angle between this plane and this plane namely um, label in red this plane and this plane <sighs> I can't bother to draw straight lines or overlap them anyway we want to find this angle and how do we find this angle we use tangent tangent is opposite divided by adjacent which is 7 over 3 so what we do is calculator and you get 66.8 degree and that is how you solve this particular uh, particular question and yeah that's it for this question and that's it for this video as well so if you did enjoy it please leave a like helps me out a lot and i will see you next time